Hey everyone. Hi Taurus. Happy Gregorian New Year. <laughs> Happy now. <clears throat> right? Whatever month it is. Well, uh, I hope you don't mind the sound of the rain. Because that's what's happening. Now, let's see what you have going on here. Just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Just a minute, Taurus. <clears throat> well, you're almost uh, finished with something. I mean, the, it's technically, I think it's like the 28th right now. So, you know, this year, if you will, is almost done. So that that's represented here, right? It's really starting to rain. Now, I guess you can get a little closer to me because it's kind of cold. Now, let's look here. So you have these different sections. So you have this one called, I, I entitled it work, right? It's a spread I came up with, but of course work can be, you have the temperance and the page of swords. Well, it shows me that in ways of work, like let's put it in financial perspective first. Well, the temperance means that you can do anything. Anything's possible. And the page of swords is an extremely, the most open-minded, uh, court card, okay? They're very inventive. They have a lot of great ideas. Some of them aren't well thought out, but with the temperance card and looking over at it shows me that any idea, um, I actually see, uh, Well, I heard any idea can come to fruition. Um, but I, there's also something about where maybe you're thinking about work. Because uh, work can also be the work you're doing on yourself, etc. <laughs> the rain. But I see that there's, there's something where, like... Try not to... Say you work during the day... Try not to think about that too much at night time, okay? Like, it'll stress you out. You could have some ideas that come to you at night time, like, while you're sleeping. Um, I do see you specifically being a little bit more stressed out during the evenings, okay? Like, you got a lot on your mind. So... This can also be the light and the shadow of what's going on in your life, and... It's really pain, and I love it. So, just be aware of that, okay? I really do see you coming up with some good ideas, though. Okay, like, take note of your ideas also. It doesn't have to be something where, like... Because you also have uh, Saturn in your ninth house, okay? With Sagittarius' house, it's the house of the higher mind. That means that you can really build a strong structure to a new understanding, right? Particularly in ways of religion or like how you connect to God, how you connect to your higher mind. It could be where some of you actually, maybe uh, it would behoove you to take a course on something also. You know, it could even, and it doesn't have to be like where you sign up for college or something like this. It could be. But also it's just like, what are you interested in? You know, like God gives us our natural talents, right? 
and then we're allowed to use that those talents that amount of silver right is however we please some people never use it right they abuse it or they just misuse it so be aware of that you know it's kind of like say you're really good at for example say you're really good at cooking but what you've done for a job your whole life was like a secretary or a janitor or whatever you know custodian well oh hi daddy long leg getting out of the rain um you know it's figuring out how to use your skills in a different the, the skills that you already have in a different way um and I see that you, you'll sort that out, you know? Maybe maybe take stock of, make a list of all it is that you feel blessed about. And also all the skills that you have that God gave you, right? Now, in your love section, the, which is to me, of course this can be love in your life. We have Nine of Cups, Herman in Reverse, and the uh, Ace of Pentacles. This can also be how you're perceiving love, how you're receiving love, and also, well, how you're loving your, you know, it's all about how you're loving yourself. So, well, Nine of Cups, firstly, is very promising. It's very positive, okay? The Hermit shows me that you've already done enough thinking about something, that you're ready to come down the mountain, okay? Um, I see that whatever it is that you in ways of love like if you're in a relationship um well let's back that up these readings are all about the relationship with yourself most people know that that are here on opal oracle but it's like you're finally becoming a little bit more satisfied with that um uh, Like, you're not willing to change your mind about something right now, which is okay, right? Like, again, you don't have to think about it anymore. You've already thought about it. Um, and I see that in your love, in ways of love, you are accepting that there's a blessing, like a new... Because maybe that's what it was. I was talking about in the beginning, right? You came to a full circle... You're, you're complete you're completing something and then you have the next step well this is shows me january um it also shows me that your work and your love are in it, like co combining like this could also be the work that you're doing on yourself is showing you more about loving yourself right and now you want to share that also with others maybe other people are also willing to come to you you know because you're such a giving person, you know that. You're so graciously giving and patient and steadfast. And, I mean, you can be stubborn <laughs> as the day is long when it comes to changing your mind about certain things or, like, your your behavior, right, your actions. But I find it very fascinating here that the hermit, because the hermit does this for a really long time, right? Really, really, really long time. But then it's like... Okay, I, I'm ready to change something, right? I'm, I'm ready and I'm looking forward to the new. Again, this I also see this as something about you loving your job. Um, or loving, again, what it is that you're doing in this life. What it is that you want to do. What, you, what it is that you want to make new in this life. And, you know, obviously starting to finally talk about that with other people right you're coming again back down you're coming down the mountain it's good because when you come back down the mountain this is where you end up you know you you were on that mountain you came down you walked down the path and then here you go beautiful now creativity this is interesting we have nine of swords and the moon I think for some of you, you are a little stressed out about, because it's in relation to work. Um, it's also in relation to, like, how you're thinking and how you're feeling. So this could have something to do with cancer also. 
like your home, your maybe your children, uh, There is something about, like, these two, this dog and this wolf are separated by a path now, you know? So there's two things that are separating, and I see that for some of you, it's it's upsetting to someone. Um, or at very least right now, someone's worrying about it. Like, what? The, because the moon represents something that you don't understand what it is that's going on yet. Now... This could be an air sign in your life, but it, it also could be where, again, nine is like you're, you're done. You know, like, this is the end. You have two choices here. You can cry or you can laugh, right? Um, you can worry or you can understand that all the hardship that God has given us in this life even when we're like, oh my god, I have no idea what's going on, and it's actually making me worry a lot, okay? About, you know, maybe it's about finding creative resolution to something. But, you can. Let's see here. Knight of Wands? Awesome. Awesome. Well, I see that someone, and there you are at the bottom of the deck. Awesome. So, um, you know, maybe a, a certain way that you went about something in your life, because creativity is like how we do it, right? Like, you can make coffee creatively, you know, like, say you're singing when you do it, or you're in your so stockings and nothing else, or, um, you know, you created a conversation, you create, whatever it is that you've made a choice in the way that you went about it, again, I see that it could have been something where you wish that it would have been, like, the way it went down was a little bit different, but that goes back to, well, that was then, right, and then this is now. So that's really important to understand, and because the moon also in this card are both nighttime, they're both really slow cards, I see that once you change your mentality about it and move up into the, because this is your work too, on yourself and life, whatever, if you view it from an open-minded position, then, and you know that anything is possible, you're like, yeah, okay, I've been through, I've been through way harder times than I, than I am right now, and, or, wherever I'm, if you are in a really tough spot, you gotta remember, like, well, you've already been in a tough spot before, like, you can get out of it, this is, this is a little, this guy can get out of anything, I mean, but don't rush out of it, you know, cause that could be, but he is creative, that's the point, Th this fire is the first fire to be here. So it's about passion for something. It's about passion for your creativity. It's about passion for creating the life that you want. Right? And, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow. Oh, there's also an eclipse in January. A solar eclipse. Okay? So, I see after that time, I think things will start feeling better. Particularly, like, in your domestic space, okay, like, you know, because some people, they need to go somewhere else to create, but I sense that you, because you're so, you're fixed earth, you like creating at home, right, in, on your land, in your space, it, it's where you feel safe, right, so, <clears throat> you know, maybe you need to make yourself a kind of sacred space, or maybe you need to rearrange the furniture, you know, rearrange your, your mind, okay? But you will, you will. <clears throat> Remember, it's um, making that list too of what you're, everything that you're blessed about right now, all the blessings you have in your life, even every day. I actually just heard this on the religious radio station last night, um, where every day, like say in a journal or whatever, a little notepad, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You just write every day one thing that you were blessed about that day. 
you know, it, it could be something as simple as seeing that you had food in your belly, a fridge full of food <clears throat> is a blessing, right? Being out of the rain is a blessing, for sure. Like, when I got these cards, these are the first tarot cards I ever had. I lived in my friend Allie's pickup truck in a Walmart parking lot. You know? <clears throat> so, you never know. You're, you're pretty, we're pretty lucky most of the time, right? Now, your spirituality. Close this out. Your, like, your soul work. Well, we have Empress in reverse and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Well, the first message to me is that your soul is no longer growing any stress. At very least during this time. Um, which is good. You're not... <clears throat> maybe also, for some of you, um, this could be your mother, it could also be your wife. But, um, or the mother of your children. But maybe they're not just, they're not as stressed. You know, and so that's helping your soul. Like, maybe it's about viewing how, um, how do I want to say it? There's something about your soul wants you to know, like, the path that you're on in ways of spirituality is saying, try not to give any energy to stress, okay? Like I said before, like... There's some, I mean, gratitude, you can't always be like, if you're really down in the dumps and you want to get out of it, sometimes you can't just be like, everything's great, and it'll just change it. But I will say that the power of the mind is, is really, that's where your pineal gland is, right? That's your little pine cone, which the Pope puts on his scepter. You know, it's about the higher, again, it's about that higher mind. Maybe you should do some research about what Saturn in the ninth house means, okay? Because in essence, although I don't know if it's actually true, but I've been thinking about the opposite planets, or opposite planets, wandering stars, we live on a plane, but, um, you know, this plane of existence, but it's like, you know, if Saturn is the restrictor, well, Jupiter is the expander, so that means you actually have Jupiter, in a way, mirror world would be Jupiter in your third house. So maybe that's something else you want to look into. You know, where maybe there's an expansion, the more that you communicate without being shy, right? Like, especially when you're stressed, because you don't like to do that, right? You don't want anyone to know that you don't know how. You know, because sometimes you just want to push through, right? But, but it's okay. No one's going to diss you. No one's going to be like, I feel like you just have this open door right now. For someone to be like, come in, come out of the rain, come out of the rain. And I just get so chilly when I said that, you know, just come on out of the rain, Taurus. You don't have to stand in the rain over there, you can come under the porch with me. You know, we'll make a fire, it'll be fine. You know, we're not gonna die. <laughs> and even if we do, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you know, but that's not the point, it's like... Just having that mentality, you know, that's what Jupiter and Scorpio was all about, too. It's like accepting that life and death and change is so crucial and critical to soul growth, right? For the earth to become more full, for our souls and hearts and minds to become more full of love and and not be stuck in the patterns that we were before, okay? The last message is, is and I sense this is when you're dreaming, um, you know, you're, maybe you're working out a lot in your subconscious, but where, you know, where is it that you're still hurt a little bit is another message that your soul wants you to, you know, maybe that's what it is with that list, is one thing that you're blessed about every day, and then one thing that happened, even if you didn't verbalize it, right, but that you recognized, like, was I, did I do anything this day that, why well, heard contradicts the blessings that I have, right, where I, like, I forgot, maybe you forget how 
blessed you were, or, or some sort of defense comes up, or the way that you communicated, or the way that you felt, you knew that it was something old, right? So just kind of looking at it and acknowledging it, because again, Taurus, no one expects you to be, it's like Libra, right? They're the Empress too. Like, for example, Libra thinks that they're supposed to be perfect all the time. For everybody. And the thing is, is they're far from it. Just like everybody else. <laughs> um, so... Make sure that you're trusting yourself, okay? And if you feel like you don't know how, then I want you to... Um, you, get, you get a shadow from your mom, too, okay? For some of you, it's, it's heavier than not. For some of you, it's, it's just a little thing. But it's like, you, ca you carry a little bit of your mom's shadow with you, which can be really beautiful. Again, for some of you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, right, you'll know whether it feels, like, off or not. Uh, and what that all means. So maybe just acknowledging that too will let go of some of that family history. Okay? It's not that you're um, letting it go in the memory or the beauty of it or the good, good parts of it, but just growing up from that and being like, okay, you know, I don't want my inner child to be hiding in the corner. I want, I want my inner child to be excited about becoming an adult right? Growing up, learning new things. Because what happens when we grow up? Well, we, we gain new opportunities because we have more uh, experience on how to communicate better so that we get what it is that we want and don't block ourselves, right? Right. Yeah! Zinga! Good. You know, have higher expectations than what could be. I, I do really see that you should check out Jupiter. Look it up. I'm sure you can find it. You can search it, you know, somewhere on the internet or find a book. But Jupiter in the third house is something you should look at. Okay? What, is that, what does that mean? Okay? Oh, look at that. Good. All right, I love you so much. Um, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Um, and um, got to spend time with the people you care about. And even if you were alone, that you enjoyed your own company. Right? And um, now I just want to thank you for all that you've... The support that you give. It's really... Uh, lightning. I've had a lot of tour ever since I asked in my life. This is an interesting thing. I'll leave you with this. I think it was two years ago. Yeah. Around your birthday. I think it was maybe April, late April, getting into your birthday. But I was like doing Taurus's reading and I realized that I didn't really have any tour. I didn't know any Taurian people. And I was like, huh, that's really interesting. You know, even living in New York for a long time, like, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people meeting. I didn't really have any tourist friends. And then all of a sudden, I think it was like a month. I think within the next six months, a whole bunch of them started coming into my life. And then it's just been progressing and rolling. And it's really wonderful. I've learned so much from you about how to be more patient and understanding and just steady. You know, sure, stubborn all day, but join the club, you know, like, I got the patch. But it, I just want to thank you for that. It's really a beautiful learning experience, and it's helping me become a better, you're helping me become a better person, and you do that for a lot of people, you know. You're the tender of Mother Earth. Keep it up. All right. I love you so much. Peace.